morning everyone. Hi. We are so excited today because today we're at Brisbane Camper Land and we are about to go and pick up our brand new Jayco Conquest 2021 model RM19. And we are so stoked. Looking forward to heading off on some new adventures. Yes. So come with us as we check out our brand new Jayco Conquest. Let's go Marky. Let's go. And here she is, the brand new Jayco Conquest. RM19 and someone photobombing. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to another episode from Van Trip in Oz. And this time we thought we would give you a walk through uh, our new camper van that we have just taken delivery of about four or five weeks ago. We've been out putting it through its paces, taking it on the road, staying in some caravan parks and just getting the feel for a new vehicle and so this morning we're going to give you a look around inside it it's a beautiful vehicle it has a six speed uh continuously variable transmission uh sat nav great reversing camera cruise control all the things that you would expect in a vehicle and as you can see it's also a Renault, and it just drives so beautifully on the road now the vehicle as you can tell, it is a three-seater. See if I can get Linda to collapse the middle one. So the middle seat falls down, and that plastic top becomes like a computer workstation. So it's really been well thought out and well designed, the vehicle. has the one four and a half kilo gas bottle Oop. so it would have been good to have two but one four and a half and that'll be fine with us one of the things I really like is that under the bed we can just open up and we've got plenty of storage underneath fresh and grey water tanks but as well as that you can also attach the hose straight to it as well. Where you put your power in, another TV socket and that's the safety switch there. Hot water. toilet as well. They have really thought of everything. It's got a 60 litre fresh water and a 45 litre grey water. We've got a 120 watt solar panel on the roof and also uh, two house batteries as well so we can do extended free camping so it is it's a, an awesome vehicle. This is one of the things we really love about having a, a van style motorhome is we can just pull up anywhere and today we've pulled up over at Golden Beach in, in Caloundra on the Sunshine Coast and this is a view straight stepping out from the door of the camper van. How awesome is that? So how good is that? Step straight out from the van with the beautiful Pumperstone Passage to come out. It's a lovely windy day. Can you tell? What was the first word? The coffee will warm you up. Welcome to our Jayco 
on the quest to capture them, affectionately known as Katie the Camera. So here we are in the kitchen. Come on in, Mr. Cameraman. So in the kitchen we have a two burner stove, gas stove, which is great. I've actually just cooked some lunch on here. We had some cup of soup and some toasted cheese sandwiches, which was very yummy. There's a lovely deep sink here, easy for washing up in. And then you can easily just replace this cutting board, which means that you get heaps more space. There's also a flip up bench here that stays upright the whole time. So you've got extra preparation room and you can even walk past there when the table is up, which is really convenient. And then we have our fridge which is a 62 litre fridge and it works on 12 volt and electricity. And I love that this is on the wall so you don't need to be getting down to try and get in your yeah. fridge like it's up high. And the door opens the right way. Yeah. Yeah. So, your room there to get your bits and pieces in that you need. Yeah. Little freezer. And then our microwave. And in here, I just keep our little um, baskets. So at night time, Mark and I have one of these and we just put our watch and sunnies and well, Mark's wallet bits and pieces in. So in the day, they can just pop back in the microwave. Easy. And just above the microwave, we have uh, the hot water service. So we can set the temperature for the hot water. We have a CD DVD combo, which is surround sound speakers, which is great for watching a movie at night. Mm. And also the J control panel, which uh, monitors our battery power and also our fresh and gray water tells us what our solar output is. And there you see it, it tells us how many hours of battery power we have left, which is telling us we have over 199 hours of battery power. So. They, they've really well designed the vehicle and yeah, they thought pretty much of everything. The other one that's really important at the moment for us is the rooftop aircon because we've been away when it's been pretty cold and it's mm. been great having that on at night, hasn't it? Yeah, having it. Just, just to keep us warm. Very tasty. And so at the back end of the van, we've got our storage for our clothes and linen and whatever else. Um, up in that one, I've managed to get the bug zapper and extra power lead and all sorts of things it's amazing what you can fit in and obviously our sleeping area and this converts to a lounge and dinette if you wish it to at the moment we just leave it set up as a bed uh, it's very comfortable to sleep on very enjoyable um, sleeping space and then we've got our TV DVD is that right Marky? yes which is awesome so we can um, watch just TV or we can play DVDs and as Mark mentioned we can have surround sound at night as well when we're watching TV. Little, oh, and lots of uh, little LED lighting. Uh, yeah. Show. yeah. So the vehicles Linda's turning lights on now, it's a bit hard to see, but the vehicle's got some great LED lighting. So under the cupboards, there's LED strip lighting and various other ones on. If you want to turn the ones on in the ceiling as well. And they're, they're just really good and they use very little power. So yeah, another great thing that they've put in the vehicle for and, us. Um, great power point. Double power point under the bed here, yep. which is really handy. There's one actually up in this cupboard. There's a double power point in here, and then an access point down through here where you can put yeah. cords. And there's also a double power point. Um, there'll be one left apart from the TV. And then there's this little corner um, shelf space, which we actually use quite a bit at night to put things on. It actually comes in really handy. Yeah, yeah, yeah it does. And next is the bathroom. The most important room of the house. Okay. And that brings us to the ensuite. 
in our camper van. And this is absolutely great, it really is. It's got a hand basin in it. Not all camper vans have a hand basin in the ensuite, but this one's big enough that it can fit the hand basin in. That is so helpful having the hand basin because it means you can wash your hands and you don't need to be getting to the kitchen sink or if you've just got some a spill that you want to clean up, yep. you can easily access water. And it also has a vent to the outside as well with an extractor fan. So it is, it's really, really good. And the hot water is fantastic. You turn, turn in, it's instant in, heat. Instant hot water, yep. exactly, yeah. And so you jump in, you haven't got to worry about heating the hot water up for 20 minutes. It's just instant hot water, which is great. And of course, a, a Thetford swivel toilet as well. So we, yeah, we just love using the ensuite, don't we? I love the showers in it, yeah, it's great. Thank you so much for joining us on this video as we had a walk through our Jayco Conquest RM19. Please, if you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe it. And come with us as we prepare to go on a great two-week journey visiting Longreach, Winton, Age of Dinosaurs, going on a beautiful river cruise and coming back by Yapoon and the amazing scenery there. So again, thank you for watching our video. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you down the road. Happy days.